Well, by next time you head to the grocery store, you might want to take a closer look at what you're buying. Fermented foods like yogurt and kimchi and raw cheese are flooding store shelves, which is why we're taking a closer look to see if they're really beneficial. Fermentation is when yeast and bacteria change carbs into alcohol or acids. Fermented foods include pickles, aged cheese, sauerkraut, yogurt, and kombucha. They contain good bugs or microorganisms that aid in health and digestion. They may be able to help diarrhea, urinary tract infections, irritable bowel syndrome, yeast infections, and shorten the severity of a cold or flu. Foods like kefir, a thick, acidic fermented milk, can also boost the immune system. The drink is being examined as a possible treatment for tuberculosis and cancer as well. In a small study, people with diabetes who consumed the popular fermented beverage kombucha for three months had their blood sugar levels stabilize. But there might be some downsides as well. A study published in Cancer Science found that eating a high amount of fermented soy foods was associated with a significant increased risk of gastric cancer. And despite being marketed as non-alcoholic, it contains some ethanol. And the fermentation process allows for the alcohol content to increase after the product hits store shelves because over time, you know, it, it grows in there. And so bottom line, basically a little fermentation, it's probably going to be fine. It's not going to kill you, but definitely don't overdo it. It just kind of goes back to that rule. Moderation, everything in moderation. Yes. And I love kombucha, so I'm going to still drink it. <laughs> <laughs>